somebody had caught us with our first perception or conclusion about a thing and pressed us, we might have lost our temper, we might have committed some act of violence in the name of that perception, it's very hard to change it. Especially if the violence committed in the name of it isn't dealt with in a way that forces you to confront a bad decision that you made on how to look at something. And in order to do that in a way that's effective to society, you can't just look at one person. You have to look at how those ideas were formed as groups of people because we learn from groups. We all learn from groups. Whether it's right or wrong, most of the things we learn, we learn things that are shared by groups of people. In fact, groups of people can magnify ideas in a way that makes them more impressionable upon us. You might say more popular, but quite often it's more impressionable. And it changes the way you think. And while we can see many areas, such as like how people relate to black people in the United States, where there's a wide range of how people think and feel about black people, can find lots of people to agree with both of them. There are lots of things that aren't so noticeable, but where belief and a combination of belief and experience, which is what all belief is, you can't say a belief is just a belief, it's based on experience, it's based on how you work, it's based on how you believe, it's based on how you act, and it's based on how you go to war, how you fight, what you're fighting for, how you protect yourself, how you keep yourself safe. Now, not everyone thinks about that, but I've never met anyone doesn't uh, exert a lot of compulsions that clearly arrange or take their genesis in the protection of oneself. In fact, I've never found anything more problematic than what people do in the name of keeping themselves safe and protecting the kinds of ideas that are most deeply associated with that safety or that liberty, none of which uh, they would usually suffer to be argued in a court or among a group of reasonable people where people are allowed to criticize those ideas, no matter how personal or intimate they may feel to you, you know, as to why did you have to run over that black person? Or why did you treat that person that way? And we all do it. We all pass by people or parts of people's minds that are like that. We don't correct them. We don't even know how. And the dark matter of society is hopelessness. It fills in all the spaces of the things that we just don't know how to correct. We can't even, so we don't even think about it. We don't want to bother even worrying about it because there's no way we can correct it. Like, oh, tons of people, Rain talked about tons of people dying in this war or that war. But, but you, it, you know, it just goes into that dark matter space of just the stuff that fills the back of our mind because until a few hundred thousand or a few million people make categorical changes in major levels of their thinking, all of which have become absolutely integral to their biological existence, as they continue to be educated with principles that will continue to mount an attack upon any remaining distinction between what is strictly biological and what is induced by the military orders of our particular biological place in the kingdom of the earth. It all gets quite hopeless.